Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back at the Church of Chewbacca, and today we're going to do an in-depth true review of three 87 bronze icon upgrades to the 92 overall silver icon versions of themselves, and it's Chris Pronger, Larry Robinson, and Joe Sackick. One of these cards is absolutely amazing. The other two are just a little bit slow, but they have great attributes besides their skating, so let's give them in-depth reviews as we always do, and their 1 through 5 true ratings. Let's get into it. Chris Pronger. One of the best big body defensemen to ever play in the NHL, Chris Pronger. Even though he had a decent amount of concussion issues throughout his career and some other injuries, he was still regarded as one of the best stay-at-home defensive defensemen in the league, and he had a ridiculously hard shot as well as was just very aggressive, played great defense. He's six foot six, 220 pounds, left-handed shooting. He has two points for Swarm and two points for Gladiator. The Swarm's going to give you agility, defense awareness, stick checking, and hand-eye. The Gladiator works on the defense awareness, slap shot power, body checking, and strength. Let's look at his attributes with no synergies activated. He has 81 acceleration, 83 agility, 92 balance, 85 endurance, 83 speed. The endurance number 85 is actually really discerning considering that he's such a slow skater, 83 speed and 81 acceleration, as well as only 83 agility. So he's going to be very clunky to skate with. His shooting, though, is very good. 97 slap shot power, 90 slap shot accuracy, 90 wrist shot accuracy, 96 wrist shot power. His hands are hit or miss. His passing and puck control is 91, but his hand eye 74. His offense awareness is 89, and his deking is 79. So bad deking and hand eye. The offense awareness, passing, and puck control are above average to very good. His defensive category, 97 body checking, 99 strength, 96 aggression, 99 fighting skills. So obviously he can drop the gloves. He can crush people. He's big bodied at 6'6", six six, 220 pounds. So you get near him, he's going to bump you off the puck. He's going to crush people into the boards. He's going to crush people in open ice. His problem is just making sure that people don't go flying past him while he's trying to do that. His checking category, 99 defense awareness. So max, 99 shot blocking, 96 stick checking. With 74 discipline. But he's going to have a really long reach with the poke check at 6'6". Six six. He's going to have great defensive awareness. He, this is a really, really good card. The biggest concern is he doesn't skate very well. And there's not much you can do about it to make him faster. His max speed is going to be 86 speed with distributor. And his max acceleration is going to unfortunately only be 85. So you're going to have to put him with like a Kale McCarr. Or somebody else that's a very fast skater. And then hope that Pronger doesn't cheat at all. Or pinch when he's being played by the computer. Otherwise, he just becomes a liability, in my personal opinion. At this point in the game, I don't think his skating is really caught up to where it needs to be. I'm not even sure if in his gold card it'll ever be caught up to where it actually needs to be at the end of the game. Hopefully, they look at this and be like, man, this Chris Pronger is just really not that useful, even though he's a great defenseman. I'm going to give him four Chewies, because his skating is just so poor. Even though he has a good team synergy, and the rest of his attributes are amazing, the, my concern is his skating. He's just way too slow, even at the six foot six frame. 86 speed just doesn't get it done for the investment you have to put into this Chris Pronger. Larry Robinson. Another big body left-handed defenseman, just a little bit smaller than Chris Pronger, but actually built a little bit more sturdy. 6'4", 225 pound, left-handed shooting Larry Robinson. He played for the Montreal Canadiens and he played without a helmet and with a helmet. So I'm going to consider him a part of the no helmet gang. He has two points for Magician for his player synergy, two points for Barrage. So he actually has a little bit worse team and player synergies than the Pronger does. But he skates a little bit better. And some of his other attributes aren't quite as good as Pronger's though. Looking at his skating, is 84 acceleration, 85 agility, 94 balance, 95 endurance with 84 speed. So he can't get up to 87 speed and get up to 80 acceleration, which is suitable, especially if you put him with a faster skater like the aforementioned Kale McCarr whenever we were going over the Pronger review. As for the shooting, he has 89 slap shot accuracy, 91 slap shot power, 90 wrist shot accuracy, 92 wrist shot power. So his shot's actually above average. Pretty good shot for a defenseman, especially six foot four. His hands are much better than Pronger's are. 86 deking, 95 offense awareness, 85 hand eye, 97 passing, 95 puck control. So he can definitely move the puck. His hand eye and deking's better than Pronger's is. So that's something that's great. His defensive category, 95 body checking, 93 strength, 93 aggression, 99 fighting. So those are great attributes. Then the checking category, 99 defense awareness, 98 shot blocking, 94 stick checking. And then he only has 73 discipline, which is a little bit of a letdown. Barrage, real quick, does stuff for slap shot. So the slap shot power, slap shot accuracy, as well as offense awareness and aggression. The magician will help with his agility a little bit, as well as his deking and puck control. So it is something to note that the Magician will help this Robinson a lot because he's not going to be as clunky to skate with. 
unlike that pronger does not have anything to help with his agility what i will say about this larry robinson is he's still a very sole skater 492 overall in the investment you have to have and at six foot four it's not like he's gigantic like the chris pronger at six foot six like that's a big defenseman this larry robinson is also very large but he's not as big he's not like that chara or pronger or headman type of reach or even Tyler Myers, if you want to throw him in there. I know Myers kind of fell off, and he's not like a go-to defenseman anymore, but he was a couple years ago. I do like this Lay Robinson, so I'm going to give him four chewies. I think it's a fair rating if he skates just a little bit faster, easily four and a half. If you're going to pair him with a very fast defenseman, he's probably closer to four and a half chewies, to be honest. But I have to be 100% candid. We're going with the four chewies just because of the team synergy, and his skating's not that great. You really want guys that can skate well in this game. If you're a Canadiens fan, though, he might be worth building, especially since he's one of the better defensemen in the game still on all of his other attributes besides the skating. Joe Sackick. As many of you guys know that I do quite a bit of team reviews on this page and I'm always telling people to pick up the bronze Joe Sackick because he has what I call upwards mobility as in he will eventually get an upgrade to the silver icon. Well it's finally come out today he's 5'11", 195 pounds left-handed shooting. He has two points for distributor, two points for magician and this card is absolutely filthy. The distributor is going to give you speed, passing, and puck control. The magician is going to give you agility, deking, and puck control in case anybody forgot. So he doesn't really need distributor and magician for his puck control because it's going to be max if you just get the distributor and most people have distributor. But he has amazing team synergies and an average to above average player synergy. Let's look at his skating. 93 acceleration, 95 agility, 86 balance, 86 endurance. The endurance rating isn't the best, neither is the balance for the quality of card that Sakic is, but you throw on top of the 90 speed with the 95 agility, 93 acceleration. He's one of the better skaters, 92 silver icons that you're going to see. His shooting is 95 slap shot accuracy, 91 slap shot power, 99 wrist shot accuracy, 97 wrist shot power. So he pretty much has a maxed out wrist shot. He's already filthy in his 87 overall card with his wrist shot at 94, 92, I believe. So this card is probably going to be super, super nasty. His hands are top notch. 96 plus across the board with 98 offensive awareness. So that's something you got to look at. He's going to be nasty. He's going to be able to dangle. He's going to have great control of the puck. He has 79 body checking, 89 strength. Not the best body checking number, but you don't have Joe Sackett to hit people. You have him to score goals, you have him to set people up, and you have him to back check and play some defense and win you some faceoffs. For his checking category, 93 defense awareness, 81 shot blocking, 92 stick checking, 91 faceoffs with 91 discipline. So he can definitely be a center, one through four lines. I'm personally going to probably have him on the top six when I finally upgrade him. If not, he'll probably be on the third line, maybe on the right wing. I don't know if I'll play him at center or not. He has the option to be my fourth line center, but I think I'm going to keep Bobby Clark there and have this Sackick on the wing somewhere. But he could potentially slot into center because the 91 faceoffs is definitely more than sufficient. This shows Sackick's everything you want in a bronze or silver upgrade. This dude is an absolute stud. He looks like a card that should be a master set player, and I'm, he's going to play way above what his attributes are at a 92 overall. With that all said, he gets five Chewies. I think this is the... I think this is one of the best silver icons that have come out, and that's rating all the ones from 89 all the way up to 92 now for the investment you have to put into the card. Sakic is top-notch. Five Chewies. I don't think anybody will argue about that. This is why I kept telling everybody to pick up Joe Sakic because he's going to get his upgrade, and when he gets his upgrade, he's going to become even filthier than he already is, and he has premier synergies. That's going to wrap up this Chewy review of Chris Pronger, Larry Robinson, and Joe Sakic's silver icons. The defensemen are just a little bit slow, if I'm being honest with you, but they are both big-bodied left-handed defensemen. I think Robinson's a little bit better than Pronger if I had to choose, but Pronger the six foot six is definitely appealing, especially for a more stay-at-home guy. If you compare him with someone like a Kale McCarr, I'll even throw in like Tyson Berry's Team of the Week 87 overall, somebody that's just very fast and quick that can make up for Pronger's lack of mobility. Lay Robinson's a little bit more mobile, and I'm okay pairing him with maybe a guy that's in his low 90s speed, but anybody slower than that, you're going to have some trouble on that defensive pair at this point in the game, especially playing at higher levels. The Joe Sackick's cream of the crop. He's one of the best cards in the game right now. I don't think there's any argument there. He has probably the nastiest shot. He has the best hands. He has good defensive attributes, and then his skating is great, and he has good synergies with the two distributor. I think he's a card that's almost a must-have in this game right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about these three cards. Do you think that Saki is as good as I'm talking about? Do you think maybe Pronger's better than I'm knocking him for, for being too slow? Can you deal with his slow speed? I'd like to hear from you guys and your opinions about these cards. 
Also, if you want to have your team reviewed by me, join the Discord that's in the description down below. That is the easiest way to go about it. For whatever reason, YouTube keeps the leading links when people drop it in the comments. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. Continue to grow the channel. You guys have a great day and be safe.